So my sister-in-law got the bag that he prepared and she's like looking through it like yuck, yuck, yuck. And I'm like, bolo, bolo, bolo. I'm like, and I'm like, ah, I want that. I did see one item he had and I'm like, what are you doing? I can sell that. No, you're not. No, you're not putting that in the box or in the bag. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, this is going to be a fun one. Uh, you might be a reseller if, go ahead and put down in the comments, uh, you might be a reseller if, fill in your response to that, okay? So in light of this question, my answer is you might be a reseller if you go to the family Christmas party and you source your items from the white elephant gift throwaway pile or the items you get, okay? So my husband and I, we went to his mom's and she does white elephant every year and everybody brings stuff and it's always a lot of fun, but I always find something to sell. My mother-in-law is a thrifter. She goes and she goes to the thrift stores and she can find the bolos and she usually puts them in the white elephant and I'm like, ah, I want that. Um, but anyway, this year, my husband and I were like, it's a few hours before the party. Neither one of us have put together any white elephant. I'm in the basement. He's in the garage. I'm not seeing what he's doing. I did see one item he had and I'm like, what are you doing? I can sell that. No, you're not. No, you're not putting that in the box or in the bag. At that point in time, I should have been like, let me see what else you got. But I didn't. So my sister-in-law got the bag that he prepared and she's like looking through it like yuck, yuck, yuck. And I'm like, bolo, bolo, bolo. I'm like, if you don't want that, I'll, I'll take that back home. And she's like, okay. She's like, the, the clown is kind of creepy. And I'm like, okay. So I'm going to show you guys what I got at the white elephant, what I plan to list on eBay and what my husband tried to give away. Like, have I taught him nothing? Have I taught him nothing? So we're going to have a little bit of fun with this video. Thanks for being here. If you're new to the channel, this is not my normal content, but I thought it would be fun. So um, if you got a white elephant gift that you are going to sell on eBay, let me know about it in the comments and I'm going to show you what I got. So these are the white elephant gifts that we got. And then I'll show you what my husband tried to give away at the end. So um, I believe this was probably my mother-in-law. Now, this is not a big money bolo by any means, but this is definitely something I could sell. It's called Gold Coast and it's a, a set of pins. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that. And they had the original box, but the original box was kind of, uh, kind of gross. So I threw that in the trash. This little guy is a gift card holder and he lights up and, well, lights up and plays music. And it's by Dandy. You guys know I like selling plush. I'm like, yeah, I could sell that. This I have not looked up yet, but I was like, huh, Sony alarm clock? I mean, is it vintage? I don't know. Does it work? I have no idea, but I'm going to look it up for sure. We got one of us. Um, and people were giving us their items too. They're like, I don't want this. And I'm like, actually, I think this was my sister-in-law. She got this and something and she's like, yeah, it's Radio Shack. It's, and I'm like, uh, can I have that? <laughs> can, I'll sell that. I'll take that. <laughs> they probably all think I'm half nuts. Uh, let's see. I did get this lint roller, which is stuck to this now. It's kind of uh, browning and vintage, I'm going to guess, but it's still sticky, so I'm going to hang on to that and use it um, for my business. This right here is stained glass window ornaments. Uh, I think they might be vintage. I think they're still made in China, but uh, 1989. I might be able to sell those. This right here might surprise you. I saw this and I'm like, I bet that's a bolo. Now, I do notice that the scent has kind of evaporated, but this portable fan... Uh, these are harder to find. I saw one on eBay that had just sold for $25 plus shipping. 
Um, I probably won't get as much for this one. Uh, 2004. And because it's missing some of the scent. But somebody may still buy this because of the fan. So I'm definitely going to list that. Check it out. We got a face protector. My husband might want that. Um, I don't know. But how fun is that? That's whatever. Now, um, this here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. Uh, these are a pair of shoes. And I'm like, what? Well, why, why did somebody put brand new shoes in here? I've never heard of this brand. I think my mother-in-law maybe bought these for herself and decided she didn't want them. So she just threw them in the, um, uh, the, the white elephant. I don't know where they're from, but maybe she picked them up at a thrift store. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but they're called rabbit. So we'll see. I don't know. Now this right here is vintage and I'm guessing she got this at a garage sale or a thrift store. And it is a draw for drawing and designs tracer projector. It was originally $74.99 at Michael's. It doesn't have anything with it. Uh, oh, it says drawing material is not included. So maybe it's not supposed to. But I plugged it in and I checked it and it works. So I am definitely going to be listing that. And it is definitely vintage made in the USA. But here is one really cool thing. And I just think it's incredible. Okay, so this is a jewelry box. It's 1971 Milton Bradley Poppet Pearls. Check it out. True vintage necklace. Pop it. You can make bracelets and necklaces and whatever you want there. So um, very, very cool. Definitely a sellable, amazing item with the original box. A little bit of damage on it, but wow. She probably found it at a thrift store. Okay, so let's look at what my husband tried to give away. The first item, I really don't care about. I'm not a big fan of selling plates. This probably isn't worth anything, uh, but I just, it was in the bag, so I just brought it back home. The capital of Washington, D.C., it's not marked or anything. Um, yeah, it's just a plate. So we'll just put that to the side. This is the little item I caught him trying to put into the bag before we left, and I'm like, no, I can sell that. And he's like, it's broken. I'm like, I don't care. Like, this is something I would totally put on my, cha on my channel. I would list it and I would sell it and everybody would be like, she sells the weirdest stuff. Um, I don't know what it says on the back. If anybody knows anything about this crazy little doll, um, it, it's definitely broken. But maybe somebody needs a replacement leg or I don't know. It says 89 on the arm. What do you guys think? Can I sell it? Can I do it? So that little thing is going to be listed. Here's the creepy clown. Um, it, it doesn't have any hands. This, the arm in this side is missing. I don't know if it's like floating around inside, but this is definitely a handmade clown. And I just want to see if I can sell it. She's like the creepy clown. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's a little different, but yeah, so we got that. But here is the thing that I was like, what were you thinking? And you guys might be thinking the same thing. It is a, I'm guessing, antique, very, very, very old um, purse. And it's beaded. But here's the thing. This is pretty much trashed. But these beautiful beads could be reused. And this hardware right here is absolutely incredible. Look at it. And it works. It's, it is incredible. So I have not looked this up to see the value. I just got the chain caught in it. But um, just look at it. Look at the, um, wow, it's incredible. I, I'm like, I cannot believe you put that in the bag. And he's like, did you see it? I'm like, yeah, I saw it. And I also saw like all these stunning beads and this beadwork. Um, it probably can't be fixed, but I think somebody could probably, a crafter could probably really do something amazing with this. I mean, look how beautiful it was at one time. Just amazing. Just incredible, right? Let me know what you think about the bag. All right. He had a whistle in there. This is just made in China. So this is probably nothing, but he threw it in. He had this little bracelet that has these little, uh, I don't know, stones on it. I don't think it's anything, but he threw it in there and I just brought the whole bag home. So there is that. And then we have this, which... I don't know what this is. A uh, letter opener, perhaps. Um, but I'm like, that's kind of cool, too. I think I could sell it. I don't... There's no markings. It's probably not an expensive item. 
but it might be a nice bread and butter. It's got a cool handle on it and a nice little, nice little vintage case. So let me know what you sourced at your white elephant. Let me know if you think I'm crazy for thinking this is a true gem. I just think he tried to give away a true gem. I just think it's amazing. I just think it's amazing. So I don't know. I got to figure, figure that one out, how I'm going to list it. I, I, I'm probably just going to list it as is. I mean, it's incredible. It's beautiful. Look, look, if it was in great shape, oh my goodness, this, it would be a huge bolo. Okay, so what was your favorite item that I sourced at the White Elephant? Um, I just love this one too. Super, super cool. And that is it for the White Elephant sourcing party. Thanks for watching. Okay, bolo buddies, I popped up screenshots of how I listed everything. How do you think I'm going to do? Do you think the crazy clown is going to sell? <gasps> or the broken doll? Mm, can I sell it? I've sold broken things before. Um, yeah, these items are available in my store. The broken purse, which is incredible if you're a crafter. I'm really excited to see about that one. I may haven't. I've drafted them. I'm getting ready to go list them right now. I think I may do auctions on some of them. So check out my store to, uh, if you're interested in anything, I was going to say to see how I listed it, but I'm popping up screenshots. So you don't really need to check out my store to see how I'm listing it. But anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. This is just a fun video, but I think I found some bolos. What do you guys think? Which was your favorite item? Thanks for watching.